Hi. So I have made one level of a type of games that we see in ads, but where the actual game may be mainly something quite different. You can see links in the description below to some earlier videos on that. So my first idea was to make a couple of more levels of the same type, but then I thought maybe I should mix things up with a different type of game that we can see in these kinds of ads. Another type of games I have seen that look kind of fun is uh, pull the pin type of games. So let's try one of them. The ones I have seen that seems to be most fun contains liquids such as lava and water in motion. So how would I represent that without having to do frame by frame animations? That would not really be practical. So I need to come up with some sort of emulation of liquids in movement. And this of course has been done by others that are much better at this than I am. But I'd like to try my hand at it. And I have come up with something that is fairly simple and uh, honestly quite crude, but I think it will do. I'm using an image that is a circle that is 10 pixels wide. It is whitish, which makes it simple to use a tint function to turn it into any color I want. Red for lava and light blue for water. Based on this texture, I create a template that will have a gravity factor to it that will move the particles downwards until they meet some sort of resistance. There is also a factor that pushes the particles apart. There are two factors involved here. One is how close the particles can come together before they are pushed apart. And the second is how much it pushes the particles apart. So these three factors together, gravity, distance, and how much it is pushed apart, can be set at different values, and the liquid will behave differently depending on the values that are set, making it possible to use this method for liquids and uh, probably gases as well with different features. In this setup for a level, I have the liquid on a shelf. One side is opened and the liquid pours out to one side. The shelf is level, so to have this shelf being completely emptied, I have added a little bit of a cheat. Particles on the lowest level will get a little push to the side that is opened up, and those all of the lava or the water will pour out of this containing area. When lava and water meet, they should interact, they should destroy each other. When a lava and a water particle collide, they both disappear. I think that what I have set up here is quite okay for my purpose. I might get to improve a bit on it, but in general I think this will do the job. So this will be all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.